What's good, YouTube? Back again with another video. And today's video is about my basketball gear. So what I'm hooping in, what I'm, um, you know, crossing people up in, I'm washed, all right? So I'm gonna be the first one to say it. I'm old, um, I'm fat, so, but I still love the game. And like most of you, I'm so into jerseys and sneakers because I either fell in love playing the game or fell in love watching the game. You know what I'm saying? So, and seeing my idols win championships and it inspired me to play ball as much as I could, especially in my younger days. I'm trying to get back into playing because I just love it and it's cardio without thinking and I hate jogging. So today's video, I'm going to show you my hoop gear. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different than my Jersey video, but I figured it's all for the love of the game, right? So let's get into our hoop gear, all right? So first up, I have my basketball bag. So it's a bag I bought many, many years ago, maybe about five, six years ago. It's a LeBron basketball bag. I just take it to the court with me, you know, put my stuff in it, put my sneakers in it, put my, my gear in it. But a couple of features that this bag does have is it has a zip here so you could put your wallet and your car keys and stuff like that in this little zipper right here and then you have your side pockets for your water or gatorade and you have another zipper actually right here as well but one of the few things that i really like about this bag is is a separate compartment here so you could put all like your stinky shit you played a couple of hours of ball and you just need this to go somewhere else so it's not with all the other stuff that is my LeBron bag. I definitely bring this bag to play ball in. So that's the first item, right? Now, the second item is a Thermoflex hoodie. This is a plain Thermoflex hoodie. This is the same exact hoodies that the NBA players wear, such as this hoodie that we have. So you have that stretchy material. You have that vented hood. Fantastic hoodie just to be warm in. So a couple of things about being warm and you want to make sure you, your body's warm, your ligaments, your knees are warm, especially if you come off the court. That's really been like the toughest for me as I've gotten older is I play a couple of games, you win a couple of games, and then for whatever reason, you may lose or you may just sub. And now you're off the court for about 10, 20 minutes and your knees, your ligaments, your muscles, you now start to feel like shit. I put these back on. So I put my hoodies back on. I put whatever clothes I had back on just to keep warm. This is the same Thermoflux hoodies that the NBA players wear. Of course, it's a little bit cheaper because it doesn't have any NBA logos or NBA teams attached to it, which is nice. And then you can always get these on discount. And that goes the same for the pants. So this is the Thermoflux pants. This is the same pants that the NBA players wear as well. You have zipper pockets, real stretch material. So obviously I have my shorts on, I have all my stuff on, and I will put this on, especially if I'm waiting for a next game and I'm trying to keep warm. So that's the Thermoflex pants. So you have the Thermoflex hoodie, Thermoflex pants right here. So that's my outer layer. We got tops now. So you can't go wrong with a Nike dry fit top, all right? This is gonna keep you cool and it's a much better material than cotton cotton is the worst to play ball in you feel uncomfortable it gets wet it gets heavy so play ball and some nike dry fit under armor has stuff like this that's pretty much the same thing adidas so any one of these type of shirts i say go for it and you can actually see how thin it is you can see the light going right through it so there's that now i got a couple of these so Nike Pro is definitely one of the better training shirts. As you can see, there's perforations throughout the shirt and the mesh. So this one happens to be a long sleeve. And this is for when the weather is a little bit cooler. Of course, I wouldn't wear this in 90 degree weather. But around the 50s, 60s, if you want to get your body really warm, this is something that I would play in as well. And then for the real, real hot summer days... We're going to go with the sleeveless shirt up top. So again, this is another Nike Pro. But what's dope about this is, is that you have the mesh coming down, actually the whole entire back of the shirt. So, and they're sleeveless. So the combination of both just keeps you really warm during the summer. I typically wear black clothes specifically because between the deodorant stains and all types of other stuff, it's just you know, people sweating on you and, and you're wiping your hands and your hands are dirty. 
So adjust a little bit cleaner look. If you go with white or gray, your stuff gets dirty real quick. So that's why I usually wear black, all right? Now, my socks. So I rock the Nike Elite socks. These socks have a little bit extra padding on the bottom portion. And then they have a ribbed section to kind of keep your foot tight. Now, I wouldn't say that these socks are necessary, but I do wear them. And, you know, it's good for when people are like stepping on your feet. It may help a little bit with impact protection, but the sneakers you wear are mainly going to help with that. Not so much the socks, but I rock with the socks anyway. So I have one pair here. Put that over there. And then I have another pair here as well. You can't go wrong with too many of these because they stink. And of course, you want to wash your clothes as soon as you play ball in them. Because if the odor lingers in them for too long, you're probably going to be stinky. And that's never a good look. I don't care if you're playing with just dudes. Just don't be stinky. It's, it's corny. <laughs> but these are the Nike NBA Elite Socks. Same thing. Um, I actually have another pair of socks somewhere that I have to find. But so that's my socks. All right. Now, compression shorts. So I bought a bunch of three quarter length compression shorts. And we have a Nike Pro short here. This is just to really kind of keep things tight and keep me cool at the same time. The last thing you want is to play in some underwear and you're sweating and the shit gets uncomfortable. It kind of gets in your crotch area and it's just a whack feeling, all right? So I have a couple of Jordan brand ones as well. And again, these are the ones you definitely want to wear because your ass... And your balls stink and that shit is just no good. <laughs> so another pair here as well. So I try to rotate them and wash them as much as I can. And now we get to the shorts. So we have your basic, you know, basketball shorts. Pretty much any kind of basketball shorts work. But there's one particular shorts I wanted to show you guys. And it's funny because now that we know the new Nike jerseys are now made with this material. So... A couple of years ago, this may have been 2017, I bought these shorts and these are one of my favorite shorts to play. But as you can see here, it says Nike Vaporknit, right? So I bought these shorts, not knowing that Nike Vaporknit was the material they use for the NBA, but these shorts have a lot of dope little features. So this feature right here on the side in particular is to actually wipe your hands. So if your hands get sweaty or dirty or, or for whatever reason you need to wipe your hands in these right here are for that and then as you can see the perforations on the back of the shorts and another cool feature this short has is it has this like real sticky elastic so the shorts never come down your waistline which is really good and it has a couple of pockets so this is a vaping it short i don't even know if these shorts are still for sale honestly um i haven't seen any I mean, I guess you can get an authentic NBA short, but other than that, these came with a little bit more features. I bought these on sale for like 70 bucks. I usually don't go too expensive with basketball gear because, you know, you're sweating in them, you're dirtying them up, blah, blah, blah. So, so that's the vaping it shorts. All right, now we're going to get to the sneak. So some of my favorite sneakers to ball in, I'm going to show you now. So I am... 5'7", 240 pounds on a good day. I'm trying to get down to 215, but you know, the boy likes to eat steaks and potatoes. But with that being said, I'm trying to slim down. So I have to be conscious of the type of sneaker that I wear and I have to have a lot of cushion, especially playing outdoors. I really don't like to play outdoors. I'd rather play indoors, but you know, with times being the way they are, we can't be picky. If I want to play, I got to play. That means playing outdoors. That's what that means for the moment, right? So one of the first sneakers and my favorite LeBron to play in is the LeBron 15. So the cushion is crazy. And what I like particularly about the LeBron 15, you have that stretch material, is it doesn't pinch my feet and it has this like soft type upper. So you're not really crunched in these but they are phenomenal when it comes to the cushion setup. You have a Zoom Max Air unit from forefoot to all the way to the heel. This is one of my favorite sneakers to play in. I could play a couple of hours, two to three hours of basketball and not really feel it, which is important for me, especially playing outdoors. 
So the next sneaker I'm going to show you guys that I play ball in is the Jordan 34. It's a fantastic shoe. Now, this one's a little bit lighter than a LeBron. So that's a pleasure to play in as well. But you do have big zoom air units, one in the front, one in the heel. It's a little bit more versatile than the LeBron. You can move around in them a little more. To me, this shoe caters to more weight classes. The LeBron is really focused on heavier guys, bigger guys. This shoe, you could be a you know heavier guy. You could be an in-between guy. You could be lighter in weight. And this shoe probably be really good for you. So one of my other shoes that I like to play ball in as well. And then last but not least, we got a new shoe that I added to the rotation. This is the LeBron 18 as a full length bag unit. It has the max heel unit. And I played ball in this not too long ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago. I have to say it did its job, man. It really, really performed well. My knees didn't really feel it afterwards. And all of this jumping and running around, I felt great in this shoe. It didn't pinch me. Sometimes the problem that I have with Nike basketball sneakers in particular is that it's too narrow. So I usually go up a half size to a full size because what I don't want is that pinching feeling. And this shoe was very, very comfortable. Great shoe to play in, especially for somebody my size. And that is that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different than my usual jersey reviews and sneaker reviews, but I got to show you what I play ball in. This is what I hoop in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We out. Peace.